In my previous video, I showed you how to cut out parts of different photos to make a griffin. Now I'm going to show how to add details to my composition and remove blemishes. To make another wing, I selected the Move tool, went to the wing layer and made a copy. I moved it aside, used the right click and flipped it horizontally. Then I made the copy bigger and changed the angle so that it fits better with the rest of the body. To make the wings look different from each other, I used the Mesh Warp tool. It allows me to create a grid around the object, which can be manipulated to change its shape. I just moved the nods and handles to get the result I wanted. I was missing some feathers at the bottom of the wing and I wanted to recreate them with a clone brush. I added a new pixel layer right above the wing layer, selected the clone brush and made sure the tool was set to current layer and below. I clicked on the part of the image I wanted to copy while holding the option key and then just recreated that part in the empty space below. Since my new feathers were in a separate layer, I could use the eraser to delete the pixels I didn't want without damaging the wing layer below. Next, I used the in-painting brush to quickly remove blemishes by just painting over them. Before adding the final elements, the sky and the moon, I adjusted the size of the rock so that it looks right in relation to the griffin's body. To make the sky, I used the flood fill tool and filled the background layer with black. To make the moon, I selected the ellipse tool and drew a circle while holding the command shift key. These are the tools I use to make a nice, clean composition and in my next video I'll show you how to change colors to reach the final result.